with gold recently crossing $2,400 an ounce and silver crossing $29 an ounce, is silver spot price for under $30 available for a limited time only? Let's talk about that. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. Is silver going to be under $30 for a limited time only? Is it days away or months away? Or is a $30 barrier a hard ceiling which cannot be crossed? Are we in store for a bigger pullback and then heading back up? And the next time that silver approaches $30, is it just going to surprise us and keep going up and up? For silver stackers, I do have some good news and bad news about silver. The good news is, is that silver is $28 an ounce and climbing. The bad news is silver is $28 an ounce and climbing. Are rising silver prices really good news or bad news? According to a poll of my audience I took recently, 270 votes, 62% thought rising silver prices were good news, while 38% thought rising silver prices were bad news. It all depends on your perspective. There are two sides to every coin. If you have bought a lot of silver, Rising prices show that your focus and discipline to saving has paid off. Or if you have a decent amount of silver and still want more, rising prices show that you're on the right track. The flip side is, if you're just starting out, or you see yourself as partway or halfway there to your stacking goals or some other number, maybe prices rising too fast is bad news because you wanted to get more when the prices were a little more reasonable. Or you're afraid that as soon as you buy, the prices are going to fall a good percentage. So maybe prices rising too fast will result in an equal sized falling price. So you don't want to buy only to see prices lower in a month. But if you're taking a long term view, then perhaps none of that matters. The good news for silver is that it did go up a lot over $6 an ounce in about a month and a half. So to say that gold is repeatedly at all-time highs and silver can't quite get over $30, it makes a point, but also misses a point. Silver is moving. Work out the recent percentages. Gold is indeed hitting all-time highs, but silver is likely up more as a percentage in the very short term. The silver to gold ratio is shrinking. If both metal prices are rising, silver is rising just a little bit faster. I would say from my experience that the best way to deal with rising or falling silver prices is to set a plan and a budget and stick to a purchasing plan. The other thing is to shrink your targets, shrink your options. For 2023 and 2024, I believe that the silver spot price was reasonable as well as premiums on silver. So my regular purchases were fractional gold eagles and silver eagles. As long as physical silver eagles were under $30 a coin, that was my target. So for 2023, that was two coins at a time or a tube at a time with the result over 100 ounces of silver eagles. In 2024, that's been two coins at a time or a tube at a time with the result being 80 ounces of silver eagles. So consistent effort does pay off and focus. Would I have liked to buy a one ounce reverse proof silver Libertad this year? Sure, but not at the cost of 10 or 12 silver eagles. A recent silver eagle purchase was made by me where I got 12 silver eagles, which is what I needed to finish a partial tube, plus a random full mint sealed tube of silver eagles from Atmax. And what year did I get? 2021. So did I get type one classic eagle design or the type two? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not opening it. That defeats the mint sealed benefit. I think it's type one, the classic. So 32 silver eagles bought for $29.24 each back on February 29th with one of the tubes, likely the classic eagle. That looks good to me. And I also got a gold gram bar at spot price in the same order. The gold gram deal, I believe, is an ongoing deal for first time Atmax app users. I got my gold gram price deal when gold was $2,044 an ounce. You know, the good old days, about six weeks ago. So Atmax is an ongoing supporter of my channel. I have an affiliate link plus a coupon code HEIST that you can use at the checkout for an additional discount. 
Details are in the description below. So gold is now mainstream news. Silver is not quite news yet. As gold goes, silver will follow. What's the floor for gold? In 2024, gold has closed under $2,000 only on two days. So is $2,000 gold's new floor? Then what is silver's floor? Maybe at an 85 to 1 ratio, which is not a great ratio, then silver's floor is no lower than 2350. If you have some inkling to gold's upside, you can see some of silver's upside indirectly. It's not two days away or two months away, but a recent headline on Zero Head showed a two or three year time horizon that a UBS analyst sees gold potentially doubling to $4,000 an ounce. If $2,000 is gold's floor, if both metals double, then silver is well over $45 an ounce. So is the $30 line impossible for silver to cross or inevitable? Is $30 an ounce expensive or well-deserved with room to grow? Will I be buying more gold and silver at these prices? Yes, but only within my budget and on my timeline. My timeline is more in line with my monthly paycheck, so see me in about a month to see what I'm buying next. If you want to see what I bought recently, check out my recent video, Keith Newmeyer's new silver mint is a game changer to see some new silver bars that I bought. Let me know in the comments below if you think rising silver prices are good news or bad news, and if you think $30 an ounce is a hard barrier or a barrier soon to be broken by the silver price. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.